So welcome back guys, my name is Amlan and in today's tutorial I go about explaining to you a very peculiar situation. I'm trying to use a FTP client FileZilla in order to establish a connection to my live server. How I am feel to do so? I get this eternal TLS problem. I mean what happens is when I try and connect it goes to this initializing TLS and there it gets stuck forever or something. Doing ha having done some research I have we need to understand that if I go to file, I go to site manager and I try and use this only use plain FTP and then maybe try and establish a connection, things will work. Things didn't. So I decided that I had enough of this. I will just go ahead and you know just uh, download a older version of FileZilla. So here trying to do that, really don't know whether this will work but uh, hopefully things should. Okay, they are telling me that this is working, so this needs to exit. Now let me retry. And hopefully things should work. So I am basically downgrading to 3.5.2. And uh, I hope that versions thing when this was. So I'll just, well, you can do this. You can put in the IP. And you can also put in the primary domain link to the IP. And I have created this. FTP user and inside my server control panel. So the port is 23 by default. So just and there you go, there you go, there you go. I'm so happy. Uh, things are now starting to work, and I can see everything. Mm, well, uh, it's all great. So in case we have been having this problem of wherein you are not able to use uh, FileZilla to establish a connection or something, maybe the later latest versions of FileZilla actually, I mean, don't kind of uh, support the earlier use in FTP or maybe they are doing something like require explicit this or TLS or other things. Maybe using plain uh, FTP works, so you can do that, but by downgrading to a earlier FTP. So this was creating some problems for me and you can see how we have actually solved it. Earlier it was not listing the directories, now with the seconds, it just happened like that. Uh, well, for people who may be wondering where I got this uh, FileZilla from, I just went to FileHippo and downloaded this and things work for a change. I'm so pretty happy. Uh, was really tired trying this out for the last 15-20 odd minutes and I am telling you, this can be very painful. I mean, you put in the same credentials and you being told by your developers and other people that it works when in real it doesn't work for you so you may start thinking that maybe you are doing things wrong so i called up the hosting provider i i explained to them stuff like this is a little difficult to explain to them also they told me to restart my pc but restarting the pc or reinstalling filezilla doesn't help because you are still doing the same um, same program implying the same handshake that needs to happen and the handshake was needing not only ftp but but also a tls handshake and my servers at GoDaddy were not supporting this kind of potentiation. So basically the handshake was never happening, which in turn meant that I was ne never able to connect to the server and thereby never able to fetch in the data, which now basically happens because now in the older versions, uh, you can see the connections which are being made to the server is being made by using plain FTP, which my GoDaddy server supports. So hopefully this helps. If it does, please do subscribe, please do like, I can make some tutorials like this because things like this can get pretty frustrating at times and I just hope that this tutorial will go a long long way wherein the community like ours will start developing and make tutorials like this which can at least help those who are you know getting started and get hassled by such small small things because they can mean so much <laughs> I mean they can actually make you quit but it will not because I'm here thank you so much God bless you have a great weekend thank you so much oh god I'm repeating the lines